let's take a look at dot product. So also known as a scalar product means I take two vectors and I'm gonna multiply them together such that I end up with something that does not have direction. It is a scalar. So the two ways we can do a dot product is we can multiply the magnitudes times the cosine of the angle between them, or we can go ahead and find the components in the x direction, multiply those together, or the components in the y direction. So why would we wanna do this scalar product and what does it really do? So the example we're gonna look at first is work. So work is trying to describe how much energy is transferred to or from an object. And so if I think about giving it kinetic energy, so I apply a force to that object, um, I'm gonna pull with a force at an angle like this. Now, when I pull with an angle like that, there's going to be components to that force. There's going to be a component that pulls it forward and a component that tries to lift it up. Now, this component is actually causing it to move this direction. Um, and this component is not. So the only one actually transferring energy is this lower one here. So this F cosine of theta. So the idea is I want to find the component that is parallel with the displacement. And so that's the kind of idea we're going for here. We're gonna multiply the magnitude of one times the component of the other that is parallel with it. Okay. The other option is we can find the X components and the Y components. This is if they are both at angles um, and we don't know the angle between them, we would use that method. So that's the dot product.